It's raining really hard today. It's good weather for building stuff. Hi, this is Gilly, radio prepper. Today I'm building a dummy load. Uh, everyone interested in radio should have a dummy load. Of course, it is a fictitious antenna, so to speak, that doesn't radiate. Basically, just a 50 ohm resistor. But not any resistor, because of course you have to dissipate some power here. One thing I found on eBay for just a few dollars is a 250 watt resistor. And it's a uh, surface mount, well, sort of a surface mount component here. Um, you can find them. I bought it a long time ago, I don't have the link, but uh, for just a few dollars compared to the price of a already made dummy load, <laughs> that's a great deal. I also got myself a Hammond 1550Q and that's a great little uh, cast aluminum case uh, inside which I'm going to build uh, the dummy load. I was also planning on making an RF probe built in and uh, it only takes three components and I have two of them. I have the uh, 1N34A diode, I have the uh, 103 0.01 microfarad capacitor and missing the 4.7k resistor. Here's the schematic. Pretty simple, uh, nothing to it really. Uh, it's only one resistor, one diode, one capacitor. Actually two resistors, but uh, the 50 ohm resistor of course is your load. I probably uh, mainly will be using this with my uh, QRP watt meter, so I want to measure the height of the BNC so that I can install the BNC on the dummy load at the same height. As it happens, it just corresponds to the middle of the case, so no trouble there. Don't forget a little dab of uh, Loctite or similar compound. For the uh, resistor, I'm going to be using some uh, thermal grease, which uh, we don't, we never seem to have enough of it. <laughs> and uh, it's not always easy to find, but uh, I think pretty much, uh, I'm not going to say indispensable, but I would highly suggest uh, using that stuff for this application. Same thing with the Loctite here, just to make sure that it doesn't come loose. And that's it for the uh, mechanical part. Now I just have to solder a wire between the center of the BNC and the little tab here. And that's it. Um, I will later drill a hole here for a banana connector. Just for the uh, output of the uh, RF probe. And the RF probe basically uh, you just transform, you just uh, rectify the uh, current coming from the uh, the radio to DC current and uh, with a voltage divider and uh, you can measure a certain voltage here at the uh, output of the uh, rectifier and uh, you, with a little calculation you know uh, how many watts you're outputting so it's basically just a watt meter. And we get close enough to 50 ohms, perfect. And here's the result, a very nice dummy load. It's a very simple project, very inexpensive, great for maybe someone who has never built anything and hasn't soldered before. So I would highly suggest making one if you don't have one. There's no need to buy a $50 or $70 dummy load if you can make one like this. And as I was hoping, it plugs in my watt meter perfectly and there is no stress on the connectors. Now keep in mind that even though the resistor is rated for 250 watts, this little uh, aluminum case is not going to dissipate 250 watts. But I really don't care about that because my uh, most powerful radio is uh, outputs 50 watts and uh, I would only use it briefly so I don't think I need a heatsink. 
but uh, keep that in mind. If you want to dissipate more power, you need a big heat sink on the case. Let me know in the comments if you like uh, that kind of uh, simple projects. Have a good one!